I've seen people, uh, after seeing their, their first eclipse, I've seen people on their knees praying. I've seen people on their knees weeping with tears running down their cheeks. It's such a, uh, a moving, uh, overwhelming experience. And I think uh, virtually everybody who sees this uh, really gets a, a, a sense of how grand the scope of this thing is. You really get a feeling that you're, you're on this small planet orbiting the sun. Welcoming to Eclipseville, Fred Espinek. All of a sudden, the house lights will just go down. And you'll be in totality because the you'll be in this twilight from bright sunlight to twilight. If that's not enough, when you hear everybody around you screaming like the home team just made a touchdown at the Super Bowl, it's totality and you can take the glasses off and look. Well, the point of greatest eclipse is a point along the eclipse path that's determined by the axis of the moon shadow. It's, it's uh, the instant when the axis of that shadow, if you could imagine that ac axis piercing the earth as the moon sweeps across the planet, it's the instant when the, that axis passes closest to the very center of the earth. In terms of looking at the alignment of, of the earth, moon, and sun, it's when that alignment becomes as close as it's going to get during that particular eclipse. And it just happens to fall uh, just west of uh, Hopkinsville. How many people in the audience have seen a total eclipse of the sun? One is all I see right here. A total eclipse is such a rare phenomenon, very few people get a chance to see one. But if you live within 20 miles of Hopkinsville, all you have to do is walk outside on August 21st 